So I've had enough people ask me what I'm putting in the van and where I'm getting it from and how much it's costing that I thought I'd go through at least our initial shopping list and show what I'm putting in, how much it's costing, and why we're using what we're using. So here it is. So the first item is the biggest ticket item. I can't think of really anything, even the solar panels and the batteries that are more expensive than this fresh air van conversion kit. So this is basically a swamp cooler. It says air conditioner, but runs more like a swamp cooler, 12 volts. So it's gonna be able to run off our batteries and supposedly use in less, 10, less than 10 amp hours. Um, and I've heard a lot and talked to a lot of people that said, oh, we're just gonna go to, we're never gonna go anywhere blazing hot. We're not gonna go to Phoenix in the summer. So we're gonna skip this item. We're just gonna use um, a fan in the back. No swamp cooler, no AC. And that sounded great until I talked to people who actually traveled in the summer and they were going to cool places. They weren't gonna camp in Phoenix or anything like that. They were going to the mountains and everywhere, everywhere they were going was cool. But getting there is hot. You're passing through somewhere warm in the summer, almost wherever you are, to get to that cool mountain spot. And it's not a big deal if you just have two people in the van, but this is gonna be a family van build, so two adults up front, but four kids in the back. And those four kids would absolutely roast if we didn't have some kind of AC system in the back. And um, <clears throat> we could have an AC system that runs off the car battery and install that, but with this, we can both, while we're driving, run it off the batteries, and even when we're there and the van's off, uh, it, it allows us to maybe stay some places that are a little warmer. So I, I think this is the way to go if, <laughs> if you're going anywhere that's not super cool, but also if on the way to that place, even on the way to a cool place, if you're going through somewhere hot and anybody's in the back of the van, you're gonna roast without something like this um, because our van and, and most sprinter vans or van conversions aren't gonna have an AC system for the back. So next up is the Home Depot order, $5,500 there. Ordered everything online. In fact, so far everything I've ordered for the van has been online and I'm about $9,000 in so far. So I'll run through it real quick. First several items aren't really big ticket items, plumber's tape and a drawer slide set and some handles for the, the cabinetry. Um, first thing we see here, we got two of these circuit breakers, also not terribly expensive, but um, just thought I'd highlight the type we're going with. So $10 each. Electrical box, some wiring, more handles, more hardware. First item of interest is um, our 700 watt, just a small microwave oven. So we are going to put a little microwave here in the van, um, $75 on that. It's just a little thing, but we've talked to some people and being able to microwave leftovers from a restaurant or heat up some hot dogs or some popcorn is a really nice thing to be able to do. And so we're gonna go for it. We'll see how much it draws, but uh, according to at least a friend of mine, it's not awful. So more wiring, uh, crimp rings, nothing too exciting, hardware items. Um, and the next item of really significant interest. So we are gonna do a water heater um, for times when we're gonna to try to set up our sink so that we can use it both as a shower to pull it out and um, to use it inside. And so if we're ever gonna use it as a shower, it's gonna be important to have warm water. So 170 bucks on this, um, four gallon and just a little mini tank electric water heater. All right, so next big item here is the solar panels. So we're going with a 600 watt solar panel system here, and that is gonna run a $722.64. So it's grape solar, and this is what we're going with. We're not doing lithium ion batteries, um, 
but this is compatible with either so if you are doing lithium you could still order this solar panel set and nothing too exciting here some molding a drain pipe for under the sink uh, jigsaw blades more hardware and then the next big ticket item is going to be our batteries so we've got three of this Renogy 12 volt 200 amp hour battery so it was 350 bucks a pop so we're over a thousand dollars on batteries again we're not going to go lithium main reason being one these are cheaper I don't know how significant the lithium explosion fire issue deal is but I just didn't want to worry about it and I thought we'd start with this system here and know several people that have used these exact batteries and done very well with it so we're gonna have three of these 200 amp hour batteries okay this is the butcher block countertop we just wanted a nice kitchen countertop so 219 bucks there it's eight feet long all right more wiring knobs screws um, MDF board next big ticket items are flooring so it was $49 a case and we got this woodland rustic pecan there it is all right then we got some wall plates and um, GFCI outlets uh, two of those the big next big thing is the insulation this is something you can do a ton of research on so we got three main things that I bought for insulation so first we have this foam board insulation sheathing five of these um, help reduce constant condensation so five times 23 so we're up above 100 bucks for that so that's the first item insulation sheathing so next insulation item is this r tech uh, it's got a r value 1.93 insulating sheathing um, it was seven bucks a pop so we're using that and then the last thing and this is the controversial one we are going to use some of the fiberglass insulation uh, we're going to try and keep it to a minimum you can see I only got one of them this is just kind of for some hard to reach areas it's controversial because people are worried about with the jostling in a sprinter van um, if you get that fiberglass that gets aerosolized and is dangerous um, but we're pretty confident this is going to be in airtight spaces and um, just in those uh, areas where our foam board won't reach and then other few items that add up we've got 20 of our MDF board and five circuit breakers here we've got this 15 amp um, but those are pretty cheap and then the last thing from our Home Depot order shiplap 60 so death by shiplap total order was uh, 5500 bucks 5800 with tax next up is the Amazon order so we got five of these sets of two of lap seat belts so we're going to have 10 spots to be buckled in, six at the table, three in the bunks, and then one for the extra seat behind the driver. Um, water flange, cheap. So our black water holding tank, that will be 14 gallons. And then this is just some sealant, not a big ticket item. All right, so we've got this um, water pump uh, that costs a little bit 70 bucks 12 volt 
Next big ticket item is our um, power inverter. So this is what's going to convert the DC power from the batteries to the AC. So you can see that was $380. 3500 watt power inverter. Zippers, uh, cable entry gland. Uh, we're gonna go with this kitchen sink. Nice big one, just to make everything feel a little bit more homey. I'd rather save money on it, but there's some things where you sacrifice and everything just feels better. So 230 bucks, nice white ceramic kitchen sink. All right, so this is the faux leather uh, vinyl fabric that's gonna go on the upholstery. So we had to get quite a bit of that. We'll see where that goes. More sealant. Um, here we got overload protection. And just $35. The next pricey item, $175. We went with this Max Air um, 12 volt fan. So we're gonna have this in addition to the swamp cooler. And I'll talk a bit about the swamp cooler as well. Um, but we're gonna have both the van or the fan and swamp cooler. Okay, outlet splitter there. And then we got the battery monitor. And this Costs a bit, $179. All right, seal tape, wiring, um, distribution block. This here, the pre-pressurized accumulator tank. Um, so this will connect to the outlet, the outlet side of the, um, the water pump hopefully providing a kind of evening out the water supply. And more wiring and then um, more of our upholstery. Um, this more for the upholstery as well. All right, here we have battery on off switch. Not terribly expensive, $30, 300 amp. Okay, automatic charge relay here, it's a pricey item. Um, this allows us to use the alternator and start battery um, to charge, the, basically the van to charge the batteries that we have. It's over 200 bucks, 360 watt. So DC to the DC batteries. And then last from Amazon, this is our 42 gallon water tank. That's a lot of water, and um, that's why we have a dually. Carry a heavy weight like this. We just didn't want to go out there and feel like we were short on water all the time. So, with the 42 gallon tank. All right, that's everything for the initial shopping order. Uh, there are stuff that I, about $2,000 worth of stuff that can't order online um, that I'll show. And. That's about it for what we've purchased so far and start to show how things will appear. These same items will appear in the van.